Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. I am Jyoti Dikshit and today I will be covering another important topic in data modeling using Power BI that is the concept of snowflakes dimensions in Power BI. So let's get started. So moving to description tab. Uh, first of all, let us understand what, what do we mean by snowflakes dimensions. So basically, they are set of normalized tables for single business entities. By business entities, we mean, we mean that uh, those entities which we use in order to do filtering. So for example, product is one example of business entities. And then we have date table, then we have like status table, delivery status table, and then uh, there are, then we have colors and basically all different attributes. Uh, so, so these are basically business entities. And in this particular case study, I will be referring to one business entity, which is basically product. So let us move to model view and let us understand what uh, exactly is a snowflakes dimension. So over here we can say, in, we can see in model view, we have like three dimension table, dim product category, dim product subcategory, dim product, and we have one fact table that is fact sales, cool enough. Then uh, basically, uh, as you can see that product is just one business entity, one business entity, but in this case, there are three dimension tables which are there for this single business entity that is product. Product category is given in one table, product subcategory is kept in another table, and then product details are kept in another table, and then we have fact tables. Uh, well, as you can see over here, we have like product category, and product subcategory which are related to each other by means of uh, this key that is product category key and uh, product category is on the one side of the relationship and product subcategory is on the many side of relationship. So that means obviously one category may be having many subcategories. One product category may be having many product subcategories. If I move over here, then I can actually see that I have a relationship between pro dim product subcategory and dim product table. So uh, they, both of them are related by product subcategory key over here. So again, product subcategory table is on the one side of relationship and dim product is basically on the many side of the relationship. So it's like one subcategory may be having many products. So this uh, we can take it like this. So and then product table is uh, just a sec. There is a relationship between dim product and fact sales. Dim product is related with fact sales table by means of product key. Product and dim product table is on the one side of relationship and fact sales is on the many side of the relationship. So that means there are many products uh, which have had sales in, 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 the, in these recent years or uh, in whatever time frame this fact sales was uh, developed basically. So it's like one product is having many sales corresponding to it makes sense also. So again, uh, we can see that product category is able to filter product subcategory, product subcategory is able to filter product table, dim product table, and then product table is able to filter fact sales table. So this is how uh, the filtering chain is. starts from product, dim product category, then uh, moves to dim product subcategory, then moves to product then moves to sales. So if I have to like uh, summarize uh, the sum of sales amount in fact sales um, by means of product category, then the chain it is going to use the, uh, the basically filter propagation chain that is going, uh, that is going to be used in Power BI is 
going to be starting from a pro dim product category and then there are like three propagation chains which it has to traverse uh, when once it reaches at fact sales table okay so now let's talk about disadvantages so in this case we can see that more tables were loaded so one business entity that is product was actually containing like three tables corresponding to it one is category one is subcategory and one is the table corresponding to it itself so there are like more table more tables were loaded in this particular case and this this particular thing is not good from storage and performance point of view obviously uh, uh, you you are going to have like three tables for like one uh, one business entity it's actually not going to be good from storage and performance point of view then we can see that it results in larger model size uh, while our focus should be on uh, reducing the model size whenever and wherever possible so it's it's actually like uh, in order to produce optimized reports we have to reduce our data model size whenever possible so uh, so that once you click on the report the report is going to run very fast its performance is going to be very good so this this should be our focus then longer relationship uh, and filter propagation paths they are going to be uh, taken care of in this particular case because as we saw that if we want to summarize uh, the sum of sales amount by means of product category then it has to pass through three chains uh, and basically two tables which are lying in between which basically don't make sense then there is going to be clutter on fields pane by fields pane i mean this pane as you can see over here for just one attribute one business entity i am having three different tables this is basically a small case but once these snowflakes dimension once uh, once uh, there can be like a business entity which is going to be having 10 different dimension tables then obviously it is going to cause clutter over here and this will result in bad user experience obviously and last point is it is impossible to create hierarchy so by hierarchy i mean suppose i i i know that category comes at the top then i have sub category then i have the product and if i want to create hierarchy in this case then it is not going to be done in this case because we are i am i am having these three different tables for all these uh, things that i want to achieve and in power bi we can't create hierarchies when uh, when i am having columns in different tables between the columns in different tables it is impossible to create hierarchies so what is the solution uh, for this for this for all these problems well it is basically to create just one table for this single business entity and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to merge all these snowflake dimensions and i'm going to create just one table in this case and that is going to solve my problem how uh, well uh, for this let's let's move to par query editor so uh, i i have gone over here and what i can do in this particular case is i will go to product sub category table over here and then i am going to click on merge queries and what i am going to do is first of all i am going to choose product category table and obviously this and this Uh, both of these two tables are related by means of product uh, product category key i'm going to use this left out, left out to join also and i'm going to click on okay and it's asking me to expand i will uh, not use 
original column name as prefix and I also don't want this product category key because it is already there in dim product subcategory table and I'm going to click on OK. This is done. Cool enough. Now I will move to uh, dim product table and again uh, I know that this is related to product subcategory table by means of product subcategory key. So again I am going to click on merge queries and what I am going to do is I am going to click on this product subcategory key over here and over here I am going to choose this dim product subcategory table. I am going to use the this key product subcategory key. Same thing left outer join is going to be followed and I am going to click on OK and I am going to enable expansion and I will actually just disable this over here that is product subcategory key in this case and yeah I am going to click on OK now. Cool. So now have uh, now I have like this one table dim product which is having product sub product name over here and it is having a product subcategory name and it is also having product category name. So this is sorted. I have all these three details. Uh, that is all basically I have like unnormalized data now uh, in just one table and I'm going to disable load for these two tables product category and product subcategory. So these two tables will not be visible in, uh, in my uh, fields pane now. Uh, well, uh, what I have done over here in Power Query Editor, this should be achieved in data source itself. But since that is not the case, I am using Contoso database over here. And in Contoso, uh, product category is given in one table, subcategory is given in other, another table, product table is, you know, product details are there in another table. So I have to do it in Power Query Editor itself. So now I am going to click on close and apply and now uh, all my changes will be reflected. Now if I go to model view I can see that I just have one dimension table and one fact table. So it is now sorted. I have in order to do filtering I have all the categorical data, all the qualitative data that is my business entity in just one table. Um, so this thing got sorted and I have my measures in fact table. All the transaction related data in fact table. So now I can create table. So in order to do that I'll go to, now you can see all, uh, over here also that in fields pane the clutter is not there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it, click, right click on it, create a new measure and I will name it as sum of sales amount which I always do kind of and uh, I will write sum x and I'll mention table name that is pack sales itself and click on shift and enter and then I will specify uh, the sales amount over here. Again, shift plus enter and then uh, close bracket. I will close uh, the bracket and I will click on this button. Cool enough. Now, uh, as I had told you, I now ha want to create hierarchy. So let me expand this. Uh, well, the subcategory should come under product category. So now I, I am having product category name uh, as the top of the hierarchy. On the second level of the hierarchy, I have subcategory name. At the third level of hierarchy, I want product name. So I will move it over here.
so okay this i have now created a hierarchy and i have everything in one place so now i am going to drag and drop this hierarchy to my page i have all this information now and what i am going to do is now i will actually drag and drop my measure over here cool so whatever i wanted now that thing is achieved i have summarized uh, this uh, the sales amount details uh, by category name by sub category name by product name at one place at one go so uh, if i go over here you, uh, you can actually select a visualization that you want now and what i will want to do is now i have this first hierarchy which is product category name if i drill down i will be having this second hierarchy in front of me if i click on it once again then i will be having uh, all the products which are there in this particular sub category so all uh, all the details are now in one at one place cool enough so guys with this i conclude this video i hope you found this uh, tutorial informative if so then please like this video please uh, let us know uh, about the topics that you want to study in the comment section and about your feedback also in the comment section please share this video and please subscribe to our channel to keep watching all these uh, tutorials on power bi business intelligence data modeling data science and cloud concepts basically we will be covering azure in the future uh, so azure data engineering and azure data scientist part will be covered in our future videos so please stay tuned Thank you and have a nice